Welcome back guys. In this episode, we are going to create a new validator class in our Laravel applications to validate the category. Okay. So in our last episode, we were able to do basic validations in our controller. For example, you know, the required validations and then we have also ensured that the price is numeric. But um, one thing which we need to check is we need to ensure that when we are you know, getting a category, for example, soup, okay, so it should uh, relate to the correct restaurant ID, the current restaurant ID. So first things first, we need to get the restaurant ID somehow in our form, okay, and to do that, first of all, we will have to send it through our menu container, right? So menu container view file should also have one more property which is restaurant id okay and because we are sending all our data from here why don't we have resto id equals dollar restaurant id now i need you to understand that when we are sending props okay from html to view the convention is if we have a dash in here okay then this particular attribute in view will get converted into something like this okay and that is the reason i have my property as a restaurant id with a capital i okay and when i'm sending it through here i have it dash id okay this is very important otherwise it will fail now obviously if i come to my page you now my application will fail because now it doesn't know what is restaurant id okay so how do we get that let's go to home controller which is sending all the data okay and for now no uh, we need to send it through you know, this controller so dollar restaurant id equals let's say one now with this change, I'm starting to understand that I can't get a menu item with categories for multiple restaurant IDs. I'll have to do it one by one. So instead of passing an array, why don't we send it only one and we'll make the necessary changes in here. So in our service, now I don't expect an array. I just expect a single restaurant ID. Restaurant ID, it will be where and this we can keep as it is so let us see if there is any change in our application ideally should not be the case okay i haven't sent the restaurant id so inside my compact function i'll send this across and now the error will go away and do we have the prop in here yes we have so the menu container has the props uh, property with restaurant ID. So uh, first step is done. Now I need to uh, send that to the form. So home controller is done, menu service is done, blade file is done. Now let's come over here. Menu container has restaurant ID. So again, you can see because this is an HTML, my convention is you know, this dash id and inside my add form when i'm saying these are the props i'll have restaurant id so let's quickly confirm that you know we are able to send the property restaurant id all the way to the add container add form container so that that's working right uh, <coughs> So yeah, menu container has, again, we can see that all the basic data points which is required for the internal components to work is being handled by menu container. And you know, the individual components are uh, in a way dumb. It doesn't understand how restaurant ID is coming. It just understands that, you know, I will get a restaurant ID and that's what I all, that's all that I know, okay? So now that we have this, 
mm, I can directly in here do post data dot restaurant ID equals this dot restaurant ID and if this is correct I should get the data inside my post request so let's hit refresh checking hmm. right we will not get the post ID because it's not coming through the validation if if I would have done request all I think I should be able to see that yes restaurant ID is here so now we need to do a validation right and we will use the custom level validator class to do that so I have it open already so I'll show you how to do that custom validation group uh, using objects yeah so we can create rule classes using the generator it will create a class which implements rule it has passes it has the message okay this is where my logic will come this is where the you know uh, error message will come so let's do that so we will have php artisan pa that's my shortcut make rule um, resto category validator validate okay I'll open up the class now it has a construct as well so attribute is the name of the field which is you know you can pretty much say whatever is here is your attribute and whatever is the request input this okay so will be your value so um, when we come over here uh, let's say what was our category let's quickly look at that category is chicken main course right so yes this this will be my value inside the validator okay why don't we log it out so logger dollar attribute and dollar value okay now we need to fire that out uh, laravel doesn't know yet, it yet so inside category i can change the convention it's it, i'll pass an array first one is required and then new um, what is that resto category validate okay uh, it's in use so now if we have done everything correctly we should get category and the value all right now i only have the value but how do i get the restaurant id because my condition basically here is to check that the category exists and the restaurant id also is there no it's a very condition so what we can do is in here i'll, I'll take this down okay so i'll have a um, now my price will be validated and then my item will be validated okay and i'll also have resto id i think that's the key right resto id yes resto id is required it is numeric and i think it's also there is a, a field called um exist i think let's quickly check that exist table and column right so i have exist table is okay i don't have it yet so you know, let's not worry about that restaurant id is kind of hard coded right now so we'll not um, think about that yet but i have you know when when i come over here i have already this validation done so what now i can do is i can say uh, request okay again it's a shorthand uh, or a, a helper from laravel which basically is taking the key default and is null and it request and it sends app request only key okay which means it is very similar to i can say request input and restore id 
I can do that or I can just call the function just a you know help a function from you know laravel which we can use oops what happened yes we are passing it here and now inside this this particular class I'll take that So I have a private property which is S2 ID and I can then do if category name is my value and where it's underscore ID right ID is this Rest to ID first. Okay, so what is the logic? That if I have a result from this where the name is the value which I'm passing and also the, re uh, the restaurant ID is what I'm passing, if these two match, then I'll return true, else I'll return false. And that's the only response which the validator class needs to send and if if there's an error i will have this category for this restaurant does not exist okay this is the custom message which will come in okay so i have things in place now how do we test it everything is hard coded for us right um i can't change the uh, property which i'm sending from home.blade because you know this is something which i'm passing through the controller so what we can do is in here instead of this resto id why don't we send value as two okay hit refresh now inside my add form my restaurant id is still one okay that's fine because i will be sending the request as two so check this and i have 500 internal error which is wrong it should be something else validate numeric clear this as well and now it says 422 let me see what is the error error is the category for this restaurant id doesn't exist how can we confirm that if we go to the network tab in here it should have the request payload where the restaurant id is 2 now 2 is you know something which doesn't fulfill our where condition where you know the category id is this and so a name is this and restaurant id is 2 it doesn't match right so uh, now if i go back to my old code hit refresh let's go to a console one more time select this and we have it so i think now we have the basic thing in place and in the next video we will handle how we can add the you know data which is being saved to database and show it in here so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like the videos and the series so far click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel